Welcome back as Ivy Tech Community College presents RSN coverage of the 2023 Lake County Wrestling Tournament from Hanover Central High School. We're back here with the finals. I'm Danny Bell. I'm here with Jake Simpson. So, long day today. Semis was a pretty long semis. Uh, seventh and eighth place matches had a couple good ones. What matches are you looking forward to most for the finals? Excited for today is uh, 126 again, and I think we got another good uh, match at heavyweight today. Heavyweight should be a good one with Paisley and McNutt as well. Yeah, so we're just getting started here. 106. You have Joy Cantu from Maryville going for third place. First female varsity wrestler in school history for Maryville, sectional runner up. 2022 in a semi-state qualifier. It's a nice match up there, but we're going to stick uh, in the, to the one in the middle. You have Mason Jones. Mason with the cradle locked up on the left side. Cradle locked up, hooked in there. You're trying to get that knee underneath. A little sauce on the side. One second left. He's going to get three backs out of that. He's going to bring his total of five to nothing. He's going against Aiden Diaz from Wheeler. Coach Diaz's son is his youngest. Headlock finish. That's oh, that's it. That's, that's it. There. there it is. Mason Diaz is going to be a Lake County champion. Trying to crack down on this. Get that arm through. She's got to come up with it. End of the second period. 
Cantu's down by one. I think she has choice. She's gonna go bottom. This is your third place match for 106 pounds. Had some technical difficulties there. And we're back and strong as ever. Oh, a little bit of caution, a little bit of caution. A little bit excited right there. Yeah. Bottom set, top cover. Looking to attack that left. Two on one. Working wrist. She's got to clear her hips and get her hips out there. Playing too much underneath. Good cross face here. Hard cross face. Looking to reach into that cross face. Oh, circle up yep. on him. Give her two on that. Looking for near fall. There it is. Turk that. She can arch her right hip down, her left leg up right here. Minute and 11 seconds left. Can't do it. A two to one lead. One minute left. Working hard on the side there, working the rings. Bottom wrestler looking to try and get out of bounds. Can't be riding parallel like that. You're gonna hit with that stalemate every single time or I'll stall. There's Maldonado telling it to her. Coach Maldonado getting that toe leather speech. Keeping them toes in the mat, not on your knees, on your toes. Forward pressure, forward pressure, forward pressure. Okay, nice arm chop off the whistle here. It's gotta be tough for Joy, okay? She went for third place yesterday in the girls' state championship in the regionals. Okay, she's going for third again today with the boys. She's got a wing locked up here, though. She has a gas tank. She can reach for this left arm bar. Like a cheetah. Honestly, could look to go left uh, wing in half. She's got riding heavy on that tight waist. Good switch attempt. Can't depend on that too much. Gonna have to keep that leg, keep that leg, keep that leg. Five Here's seconds doing, left. Here's doing a good job trying Still to get his Still green away. control. Nothing. Moving into the third period. Cantu with a two to one lead. This is your 106 third and fourth place match. I guess that was the end there. Cantu is going to get the two to one lead, so she's going to be your third place finisher at the Lake County Tournament the day after she finishes third at regionals in the girls tournament. Congratulations, kiddo. Did a great job. And we're moving on to 113 now. We got a few hammers coming up here. We got in the center here. We've got Mario Aruda. Aruda is a tough wrestler, okay? He's a junior, 17-4. Zach Kinney is a freshman and is 7-0 from Griffith. Kinney's looking to keep that consistent with that goose egg at the end there. Both wrestlers doing a good job fighting hands right here. Working the ring. Aruda's got, get, keeping sure that he's working the, he's keeping control of the mat. Yeah, he's doing a good job keeping his forward moving backwards. I like the wrist grab on that level change. Not a lot of action in the first minute. Low ankle. There's temper. a low ankle a la Simpson. That's what I'm talking about. 
Good takedown by Mario. He's got 58 seconds to work here. Looking bar and a half. If he can get his elbow up right here. Stay left. There it is. They're working at half. It was suck back. All oh, there it was. Got to keep a wing out of that though. Again, if he can get his elbow up right here, left elbow up. In there. Oh, the knee slide. Slide him up your knee. Put your knee by his shoulder and then slide him up it. Again, not working right side half. He's doing a good job keeping his opponent in the mat. Yeah, 20 seconds left. He's definitely working. Suck back again. Suck back for attempt. Oh, into a cattle catcher. Keep that that bulldog has been used a lot today. There you go, another half. Eight seconds left. And this is your first and second place match at 113 at your Lake County 2023 tournament. 2 0 going in the second. Mario has choice. He's choosing top. Or he, he wanted to. Yeah. He must have some tricks up his sleeves. It's hard to have tricks up your sleeve when you're a wrestler. You don't have sleeves. That's those dad jokes again. Nice mat return. Got a trip here. Got a trip. Or got to cut him loose. One and two. There it is. Mario with the escape. 3-0 now. Doing a good job again, staying forward pressure on this tie-up. Really working the ring. Forcing Griffith to back up the whole time. They gotta be nice careful. Nice slow ankle low again. Ankle again, forcing him with it, and he stops and pressures him into this planting that foot and he takes it. Smart wrestling by Mario. Look to see Mario getting it back after this power half series again. Right trying to stay on that left side. There it is again. High half. Suck back. suck back. Oh, chin that back. Good match. The freshman's putting up a good fight right now. Got that Soika trained. In the single, tries to cut back double again. Doesn't want to let go of that. Out of bounds. Smart wrestling. Smart wrestling. Five nothing now for Aruda. Zach Kenny, the freshman from Griffin, is going to have to pull off some tricks here. He's got three minutes to work here. Half the match is over. He's down five nothing. Good opportunity to gain some confidence. He can work up to his feet here now. Oh, almost a full. I thought it was coming up to it, and he stayed on the wrist. Again, I almost. Near side leg. Oh, popped it aside. Looking for a half and a right, maybe. Or a cross wrist. Nope, hammered on the left. Yeah, he's looking to finish. Almost like a bulldog. Hammer style. lock. Yep. He's got it locked up here. Yes, yeah, sir. This is going to be the second hammer lock I saw today. Yeah, but. It should have a fall as well. If he lifts that head up right there, that should be it. And there it is. Grapevine. There it is. 6.9 seconds left in the second period. Mario Aruda is your 2023 120 pound champion. 113. We got 120 on the other side. 120 will be Maldonado in a wrestling match, and he wasn't in there. We'll move over to mat one right now, where we have Darian Copel and Marion McLean. Mary McLean is a freshman at 14 and 10 from Maryville. Darian Keppel is a sophomore at 17 and 10 from Hanover Central. Hanover's got a few young guys that are starting to come up. It's good to see that. Good for a bar and a half right here. Could you imagine if Andrew Howe and Misic came back to coach as the coaches for Hanover. Holy crap. That would be quite just an accolade themselves. Not, nothing against the Hanover coaches that are there. They're already great. 
But having those guys back in the room 100% of the time would be insane. Again, you got two guys that are on the Olympic teams coming in the room. Yeah. All right, now we're going to move back to the middle here. We're going to have David Maldonado at 120. First, we're going to do the podium action. Francisco Rodriguez, sixth place, Wolves, Ruby Krause. Fifth place, Monsters, Nash, Burke. Fourth place, Highland, Angel Ramirez. And third place, Maribel's Joy Cantu. The runner-up from Wheeler, Aiden Diaz. And the champion at 106 pounds from Lake Central, Mason Jones. Mason Jones, tough wrestler. Kind of seen that one coming with uh, the amount of wrestlers we had here. And we got David Maldonado up, or Matthew Maldonado, I'm sorry. 2022 sectional champ. 21 and 4, ticket rounder in 2022, finalist last year in the county. He's a finalist again. Number 19 ranked at 120 in the state. He only lost to Sessa and Fielden, okay, and Jackson from LaPorte. Yeah. It's, <laughs> those aren't very. Uh, those guys are all going to be battling the place of that podium at the end of the year. Exactly. So, we, being that you got Fielden and Jackson and Sessa for your losses, you don't really have losses. You've got learning situations. So Matthew, one of the youngest there, he's a sophomore. He's going to be a hammer to deal with for the next couple of years. He's going against Dominic Brown of Lowell. Dominic's not a bad wrestler. He's doing a good job keeping a lot of pressure on Maldonado's head right now, kind of keeping him off balance a lot. Staying really heavy. Again, another heavy snap. Controlling this in the center of the ring so far. Matt, both the Maldonados are very comfortable in the Muay Thai and the over, uh, the over tie. Very, very comfortable in those. They seem like they score a lot of points from yep. those. <laughs> the over tie again, time. yeah. Yep. They're Bating comfortable in those over ties. Again. Working unders. Maybe an inside trip. Outside trip. Oh, reshot. Yeah. I was expecting the contact back off of that one. Brown's getting after him here now. Zero zero here at the end of your first period. All right. Brown's gonna have choice. Brown's going to score first, he says. All right. There's the arm chop. Ooh, arm lever. Trying to work that back. Going to work that arm back to the side. Oh. Brown, good job clearing his hips. Yeah, he's circle, 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 circle. Great job again here. Trying to keep in that... He's trying to stay really tight right now. Kind of over tie coming in again. Being really patient. Muay Thai to over tie. Muay Thai to over tie. I expect another kind of slide by action here by Maldonado. It's there. Yep. It's there. Yep, there it was. Every time he goes the Muay Thai here and then brings that right hand out over the over tie, he's, he's, it's there. I think Brown senses it, though. That's why Maldonado's not trying to pull the trigger. Good block. Heavy clubs. Got another throw by attempt. 58 seconds left in the second period. Surprised to see both these guys not trying to get a little bit lower. They're kind of just locking up here in the tie up right now. Having a hard time scoring. They're definitely coming out of their stance a lot. Here we go, underhook. Reshot. Again, good snap by Brown. Get him all out of the mat. 29 seconds left. 
This is your 120 championship match. There we go. We're here. Good some heavy club right now. Both these wrestlers getting after it. Shoulder post. Good club over tie. 10, Ten. seconds. Short time shot, short time shot. Again. Jocelyn. Jocelyn for the hand control, man. Trying to get position. All right, Mom, that was going down. See Sounds looking a little winded. Let's see what the first move is. See, probably. Going uh, to his feet, back ooh. to his knee, to his shoulder, collar tie. Brown might be looking for a right side leg. Yep, was looking for it. He was trying to get that boot in there. Oh. Uh-oh. That was tight. Almost, almost looking at a kind of a stack here. Yeah. Muldy's got to keep his left leg out. Way to break that off. Good job by Brown transitioning right there on the other side. Come on, now get his hips free here. Got to return him. Oh. He didn't hear the wrestle. Don't get mad. That's wrestling. Got to get a stall call for <laughs> pushing him out of bounds. Yeah, Brown did get hit with a stall right there. Here comes left side boot. He's trying to throw that boot in there. He might yeah. hop it back on the other side. Oh, he's looking a little high here. Marnado inside. Uh-oh. If he can get his elbow up here. He's got that leg there. Brown's going to have to keep that leg hooked in there. molly has got to step back over now. Brown's going to have to look for some kind of a stack here. Try. Yep. Oh, right. this is nice. Oh, Look that's... at Matthew searching. 57 is a, seconds. Is that a figure four we got on the bottom? No, nope. sir. Nope. Uh-oh. Well, no, look. He almost got a cross shoulder on Maldonado. It's one to nothing Brown right now in the third period. About 50 seconds left here in this match. 47.6. Good first move. Straight to his feet. It's good Can he way to change here? levels into the switch. Possibly gonna get this. Matthew's turning through. Brown's keeping that leg locked. If he hooks his leg right here, this could be. We're looking for maybe a possible cradle, cradle opportunity. Almost we a feet are to back. Really loose right now. Legs double leg. Oh, way too high. Stack opportunity. He's getting him flat. He, he's forcing those legs in there. He's got him flat. 15 seconds left. Head hunting circle. If he can stay right here, just stay patient. Bro. Oh, I they had four feet in bounds. Seven seconds left here in this match. Brown, 6.8 seconds left. Could be the champion here at the one, 120 Lake County. Maldonado trying to come up. Matt returned. Matt returned. Wow. Brown's going to take the win one to nothing over Matthew Maldonado. What a match. Ladies and gentlemen, let's meet our place winners at 113 pounds. 1-1-3 one, one, in eighth place. Crown points, Charlie Drexler. Seventh place, Patty Metz, Andrew Williams. Sixth place, Meredith Marion McLean. Fifth place, Hanover Central's Darian Copel. Fourth place, Hammond Morton's Hezekiah Torres. Third place, Mold, Devin Moore. The runner up from Griffin, Zach Kenny. At the 113 pound Lake County champion from Lake Central. Mario Oerta. All right, another big match right here at 126. Looking to see some fireworks. Guillermo Rivera seems like he's been wrestling for Lake Central for 30 years. I've seen him there so long. Yeah, no, he might be a six-year senior. I don't know. <laughs> he got that COVID year. Yeah. And on a single, if he can get his head out the back door right off the gate. Alejandro Ramirez from River Forest, 25 and three. Pose the leg over. Whoever's gonna keep their head highest here is gonna win this scramble. You know what the funny thing is, Guillermo's only a junior. Damn. 
Been wrestling a while. He can, he can actually almost go cross face cradle right here. If he can get his left arm in. Good snap by Ramirez. Looking throw by, nice snap. Another low, low single. That's Ramirez what? not having it. If he can hook his foot. Gonna have to go. give it this time. Nice shot. Ramirez back to his feet. You gotta know where he's at here. Whoa. Oh, with a tilt out of it. How is he not getting backs out of that? He's got his knee in there deep. <laughs> Coach Jaw didn't, didn't like it. Good tough ride on the right side. You got 24 seconds left for Look Guillermo. Looking to pull him in, maybe go tilt right side again. 2 nothing lead. Yep, there's that wing tilt. He's counting this time. Sitting on three. Hasn't released it. There's the release. He should have given the three by now. Yeah, he's not holding on to anything. Long day today. I'm sure the refs are just as tired as the wrestlers. Because the refs actually have more matches than the wrestlers. Yeah. Up to his feet, Ramirez. Really good escape. Very fast. Good snap. Forced That's the pace. him out of bounds. That's the pace we're gonna have to see to get the behind two takedowns here. Possibly three. Again. Ramirez got some good hand fighting. Yeah, no, he's good. He's doing a really good job of snapping his opponent in that. There we go. Guillermo trying to th cross shoulder pry. Ramirez looking slide to go slide by. by. Not happening. Rivera is wrestling with his back to the ring. It's helping him in those situations when they get close to going out or close to scoring. He just step right out real quick. Expect Rivera maybe to go side by low ankle right here. He's kind of hanging on that left with that left arm. Yep. Yeah, he slide that to yeah, that low there single to the left. Again, here it comes up as soon as they can get back to their feet here. That would have been a good time for an ankle pick. He was hanging on that neck. Oh, shot, 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 shot. You got him leaning. Both wrestlers were leaning. It's a great chance to snap and go. Oh, another low ankle. That was deep. Guillermo's getting in deep on the low. Got to get his head up here. Got to turn here. Keep them heels. Ooh, Ooh, quick stalemate. All right. Get him wrestling. I like it. He is here, maybe to look inside for a shot. On five one, he can score here. Heavy hands. Sixteen seconds left. Five to one, Rivera. Get ready to go into the third period unless something crazy happens in the last ten seconds. We didn't have a seventh and eighth place match in the semis when Ramirez and Buckmaster wrestled. Buckmaster got a knot on his eye. Rivera, and they told him that it, it could have been a concussion, so they wouldn't let him wrestle. Never heard that before. It could have been a concussion, but safety first. He Ramirez cut Rivera. That's six one now. He's going to really have to start putting it on. Remember the last time when Ramirez was doing this, I think it was a Buckmaster kept trying that uh, Bulldog.
Oh, good reshot by Guillermo. He can get his head up here. Let's watch Scissor in the feet. Got to split him. Oh, hey. he's got it. Figure forward. That's one. It's locked. Yeah. Man. Coach Trevino didn't want to say anything about it. Oh, there it is. Back in on that low. Guillermo stays low, man. That's watch Bulldog that's gonna here. help him. Or dump. Or watch. Guillermo back to his feet, working back. Watch Lat. Might be looking to go Lat here, keeping that elbow. Cutting him on the takedown. Good snap. Oh, there's go behind again. That should be two, right? I would hope so. I thought, yeah, that's, yeah. He gave him the one, but he didn't give him the two. It should be seven to five. Oh, again, he might snap go behind. Throw it, throw behind, throw by. Circle, circle, throw. Circle, circle, circle. Uh-oh, they banged heads again. This is what happened to Buckmaster with yep. Ramirez. Yeah, both of them. They both popped up at the same time yeah. as soon as they seen the med crew coming over like, oh, no, you don't. You made Buckmaster quit. <laughs> they got up like, no, I'm fine. Dude, they were... <laughs> they were way too in sync. Yeah, that was choreographed. They had the same posture. They did the arms up. Yeah, I'm yep. good. I'm good. And they both were walking away from the trainers <laughs> like, no, just let me go. <laughs> Ready to bang. 17 seconds left here in the third. 13. Ramirez is going to need something big. Guillermo hasn't got a stall or oh, anything, so he can just be smart here in Star Yeah, we'll see. Ooh. <gasps> Man, that's two. Yeah. Seven to five. If he would have given that two in the, in the beginning or that one when he gave it, it should have been seven to seven. But I'm just going to think that I missed something on that one because the refs are never wrong. You know, that's another semi-state match that we're going to see. That's definitely going to be one in there. That's going to see that one a few times. Up next. In our center mat, we have another Maldonado. This is David Maldonado. David's the seventh place in state in 2022, regional champ in 2022, sectional champ in 2022 and 2020, third place at Al Smith, and sixth ranked wrestler at 132 in the state. His only, his only loss, Hayden DeMarco from Chesterton. Yeah, that's one of those again where that's not really a loss. That's not really a loss. He's going to go against Robert Frazier, sophomore from Calumet at 27-5. Another one of their better wrestlers. Oh, nice <laughs> eye poke. Hey, the old equalizer. Ric oh. Flair knew what he was doing. Good, oh, good double. double. David came deep on that one, sat him to his, his butt. I see a cut coming. Yep, excited. Nope, David's not playing. He doesn't get the turn right here. He might let him up. Yep. Yep. This one good thing about David, rarely will you ever see him come out of his stance. Yeah. He, I think he walks around the house in his stance because he doesn't come out. You yeah. won't see him stand up straight unless he's walking. Yeah, no, he, he wrestles very, very low to the mat. So, such a technically sound wrestler. Good snap. Oh, beautiful. Kick a circle right. Look, cr crotch lift on this. He's going to step through and turk that. Half that. Uh, he's... Looking across the face. He feels in total control right now. If he can arch that leg up. He's got a windshield wiper a little, little bit to get that thing underneath. 
keeping the Turk with the knee, which is really smart. Six to two now, Donato. Restart. Frazier's gonna get another shot. Cover right, arm lever right. Working the arm back. Straight to a win. It's such a good technique to use. He's gotta keep that legal though. Oh, yep. beautiful. 15 seconds left during the first. He could have scarfed that one. He was being nice. Eight seconds, six to two right now, Malna. He's gonna have to return here. Don't wanna cut him in his last second. Second period. Choice will be Maldonado. Maldonado is going to defer. Frazier takes bottom. Down goes Frazier. Cuts him. Maldonado's comfortable on his feet. That's going to be a six to three now. That, that level change, he knows it's coming. Frazier's showing a lot Good of respect to Maldonado. Oh, headlock. Oh, looking for a headlock. headlock. If he Frazier can, hits the home run. If, no score yet. There's the two. If he can sit his right hip down, that could be it. Oh, roll Paul through. Maldonado with the roll through. It's going to give up five uh, points, though, for the, for the dirty nickel he gave up. Eight to seven now. Dirty nickels are a little phrase we use when you get five points. Especially in situations like that. Yeah, that was a dirty nickel. Again, there's that gooch ride by Miraville. Yeah, that's just tough to get out of, man. You will go forward. I promise you that. Frazier ready to get down there, there again. Down goes Frazier one more time. Honestly, I, he may cut him here again. Uh-oh. We got blood on his back. Maybe blood in the nose. Somebody's got blood on him. It might have been from another match. They just probably didn't get it cleaned up as well or else they're checking something. Rodriguez, another wrestler. I think he wrestled for Crown Point. Ready to go here. Boys are trying to stay loose in the middle. That might be what they're checking is the score. Yeah, that seems a little close, doesn't it? Well, I mean, the five-point reversal when it was six to one would have tied it up, and then there were two-point reversal with the eight. Yeah, I would say either eight six or eight seven sounds about right. That arm that lever, there it bad. is, running that wing tough, tight waist wing, tight waist wing. Working it at the elbow, too. Yeah, he might be looking more towards a half, yep. That's deep. You get his left hip down, that's it. Sits that through. There it is. Oh, no. Oh. He can run a dump here if he wants Another to. Another headlock right here. Watch, here it comes. Still green control. Here it goes. Oh, if he would have had an arm. Maul's got a Splatle. Merkel. He went. Merkel Splatle. Yeah, buddy. Uh, oh, right to his back. Smart wrestling. A little headlock of his own style. This is, this is just basic common sense here. You're going to go to your back. I'm going to give you an opportunity to. Now he's giving him a headlock. Yep. That, that may be it. Top leg forward. It's yep. over. Gets it anyway. David Maldonado is your 132-pound Lake County champion. We'll move it over to Matt One. We have Alexandra Bastayek and Darian Perez. Darian Perez is a Lake Central wrestler. He's a sophomore at 12 and 13. Alexandra Bastayek is a freshman at 18 and five from Highland. Snap. Minute left in this match. Bastiak has a, a, the 3-2 lead. Got a stall call for 
Trying to circle with the snap. There's that far side pick. Oh, Bulldog throw. Yeah, yeah. Forward pressure. Alexandra still got the lead. 3 2 is the third period. Darian's going to have to do something. Shot attempt. Stopped and blocked by Darian. He's looking to get the two. He's going to get it. There it is. 15 seconds left. He's got the three, a four to three lead now. He can keep her in bounds. Ooh, I don't. Vlink says they were out of bounds. They were out of bounds. We're bringing it back. Nine seconds. Alexandra is going to need at least one point to tie it up. Whoa. Oh, man. yeah. Good call, Blink. There's a caution. You got can't expect them to. You can't just pounce on your opponent. They've got every right to the area, too. You know, I expect maybe a Granby here if she can look to clear her arm here right off the whistle. Like, I, again, I, don't... I like the lean on that one. Yeah. She's coming up quick. There it is. She's got to get free. She's got one second. Could oh, not get yeah. free. Very close. Mastiak's going to take the loss on this one. Darian Perez is going to take the win, and we're going to move to the middle map where we have last year's second place finisher in the state, Cole Solome, going against Lucas Clement. Now, Sol or Cole has had the toughest run. Oh, yeah ever when you know you're running into Jesse Mendez every single time. Now Jesse's gone. Cole has an idea that this should be his now. And he's going to have to get through Lucas Clement first. Lucas Clement's another senior from Maryville, state qualifier in 2022, regional champ in 2022, sectional champ in 2022, 2021, and 2020. He's a fifth place at Al Smith finish. You know, he's 13th ranked in the state at 138. Losses to Torres, Solome, and McGill from Cathedral and Cruz from Crown Point. So four and guys. At 23 and four, it's your, your only losses are to state qualifiers. Yeah. That means you're, you're, you're hunting with the Sharks. Good snap. We're going to go. Slome is tough on this. Cole's really tough on these. We're going to go cradle finish. May cut him here again. Yep. 2-1. Clement trying to circle in here. Saw me doing a good job of trolling that mat. Really working him towards the edge. Hand fighting, good club. Changing, breaking the stance. Oh, Pico. There. Yep. <laughs> into a cradle. <laughs> that was slick. Wow. Very nice job. He went pico block on the on the neck and then <laughs> torqued it into a cradle. <laughs> that was pretty. Cole is your <laughs> 138 Lake County champion. He made that look smooth. Very, very easy. We're gonna go over to Matt one where we have Chris Backus and Nick Kennison. Chris Backus from Andrean, senior, eight and four. Good athlete. Nick Kennison, junior from Crown Point. We're gonna go into the second period now. They have it one nothing on the board for Kennison, but Back has zero, zero. Here we go, trying to jack up that underhook. Working that hand in a mat is always a good idea. That's where I like to hit my boot scoots and my duck unders. There, yeah, was. there was. Dang it. I thought he was hitting it. Nice. 
Nice snap. Or nice club. I like how they're staying in the center, giving a lot of opportunity to work. Backus is a tough wrestler, though. Goes on a hook again. Oh. <laughs> yeah, look, Chippy. I like it. I like when the wrestlers smile after the other guy gets, gets chippy with him. And We're different. Here we go, back again on the underhook. Looking to jack it up. Again, Could maybe that knee pick toss. on the left side. Nah, he's looking to go. Backing up on Bacchus. That's a good call. Snap. Again, Bac Bacchus here got to look for a sh that That could be almost stalling now on, on Kennison. Yeah, yeah, Kennison's pushing. I mean, you, I want wrestling here. Don't, this isn't a freestyle. We've got folk style here. Keep it in the circle. Yeah, I mean, if you keep running them off the mat, that is stalling. Still working that right-handed underhook. He likes that right-handed underhook. Working wrist on the other side. Bacchus doesn't like that underhook on, on the left side of him. Bacchus here needs to just snap. go score. Oh. I like that they're chippy. There we go. Bacchus again needs to shoot off with that left arm. Yeah, there, see, there's duck under attempt. When he's hanging, Nick's just going to throw that underhook in. Ooh, blast double. Oh, Went to a lat drop. drop. Nice job. Backus looks like he's trying to get out of bounds as much as possible. Oh, yeah. Oh, at, at, calm down. Kenny will put you in a cradle. He may look like a referee, but boy, I'll tell you, you don't want. That'd be the most painful cross of his career <laughs> in anyone's life. Frustration is all it was. Um, when you're scooting and sliding like that and you're bouncing, just because you got up to move again doesn't mean that your scaps didn't touch. And um, you went flat a couple times. Unfortunately, he hit you on the third time you went flat. He gave you a chance. There's nothing you can do. Just battle back the next time you see him. Don't get caught in that. Now we're going to be going into our 138 or 145. Yeah, we have our 145s now. Now, Caleb, he's in a tough bracket. Yeah. This, like I said earlier, the 145s. Good Lord. Yeah, this East Chicago Semi-State 145 bracket is going to be it's going to be tough this year. Man. Nice little podium picture over there. Mr. Maldonado on top. Now we're going to have... Caleb Solme and Marlon Kirksey. Kirksey, sophomore from Maryville, 19 and 6. Got to work with a referee of many of his matches. His dad's one of the nicest guys you'll meet. Caleb Salome, it's that name right there. You know he's going to do well. Yeah, and both these guys are going to look to get inside. Yep. Nice job by Caleb. Caleb staying patient. Caleb's got some strong legs for Cross 145. Here. Oh, that's deep. He's eating the knee right there. There. This could be a quick first place if, match. If he can sit his right hip. He's got to get hip to hip and suck him back in. There it is. Mm -mm. Hip to hip. He's too deep underneath. Yep. He's going to go out of bounds. Be careful. If he gets his head in the temple here, that'll be it. Kirk Kirksey's fighting it off. He's got a minute to go. The fight is a long fight. There's that oh, that's off. torqued. Yeah, that, yeah. That's torqued. That was beautiful by Caleb to get his body long like that. Yeah, went to a straight to a tee off, and that was went it. Went right into it. Very good transition. Now we'll go over to mat three, where we got Neil Cameron and Joseph Bertuziak. Bertuziak's junior, 18 and five from Munster. Neil Cameron, senior from Lake Central, 14 and five. We got an opportunity to see his match earlier.
Munster and Lake Central, they see a lot of each other. Yeah. Both wrestlers fine. What's Inside that? Inside control, yeah, that both kind of kind of look for a snap series right here. Yeah. Both working the ties well. Got 30 seconds, 40 seconds into it. Still no score at 145. And this is the third place match here at your Lake County 2023 championships. There we go, right side single tail. Oh. Minute left, second period. Gotta watch backing up here. Getting shot off the mat. Yep. Bartusiak got the one point lead. Pull off that escape in the beginning of the second. The choice is going to be for Cameron in the third. Keeping it in the middle, which is nice. Stalling right green. If we can send him so here, yeah. So Cameron's going to get hit with a stall. And Bartusiak is looking to get the two out of it. And there he is. That'll give him a three to nothing lead now over Cameron. Both semi-state ranked wrestlers. I'm sure they've seen each other at least once already this year. I'm Good sure job. if he got an escape on that one, I don't think he did. Man, nope, still down. Three seconds left here in the second. Can Cameron get a quick one? Nope. Going into the third period now. The choice will be Cameron's. Take, take bottom, you're down three. Yeah. You're gonna need points. Go for a good first move. Gotta have a good first move. Oh yeah, there was a lot wrong in that cover too. Can't force him into, he jumps on and push like that. He, there can, again, he cannot do that. Yeah. You're shifting my weight and then putting two hands on me to push me just to get down. Yeah, you college. don't need me. I gotta carry my own weight. There Cameron is. gets the escape. Now he needed that. Now he's got to tie it up with a takedown here. Outside single attempt. Or at least a counter. Looking like a reshot here. Bartusiak wrestling tough right here. He's really dictating this match. He, it's at his pace right now. Good can, shot. Head below. He can get a roll through. Here. Head up if he stays there. That's IQ right there. He got him up in the air and turned with his knees. That was good. Kept him in balance. Yeah. Yes, sir. If he can position his head out right here, this is two. Oh. What, blood we got time? blood time? I swear, that's like the fifth nosebleed in the last six matches. Not enough blood. There should be blood in every match. Looking for a fall here on that one. It was a good thing I was ugly. My face got hit a lot in wrestling. Blood all the time. Not to mention my Italian nose stuck out there a little bit. Cross face really were attracted to it. I think I was taped up half my career. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're back in action now. Third period from the neutral situation. Cameron got his escape. Scary situation for him, though. He got lucky with a blood situation and because they were both in a scramble. Oh, look for a throw-by attempt. Those throw-bys are looking really nice. Everyone can do it with upper body, but they got to make sure they move their lower body with it. Way to reshoot on Pick that. Pick a circle right here. here. Left. Yeah, get up underneath that. Left. 
He's watch. jumping out. He's fleeing. Yeah, wa watch the flea call. Smart Go ahead up wrestling. here. Smart wrestling right here. Smart wrestling. Both of them. If he hooks his foot, this is probably. There's a hook. Now he's got his head out. That's back. That's back points, maybe. That's two. He's got his two. head up. He's got his head up. There Thank it is. Thank you. Rodriguez got kicked in the mommy daddy beans for that one. <laughs> you see his face? Like, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, he went. <laughs> that one sucked. Three to three yep. with 8.7 seconds left. We may see another OT. Yeah, he had to walk that one off. Yeah. <laughs> All right, a little bit of discussion trying to figure out whether or not he got that two or not. I thought it was clear. But I'm way up here. Who knows if I can see good. I'm wearing gla glasses for God's sake. Cameron went to cover. 8-7 left. What happened? Caught him with the tight. I think he caught him with a tight waist. Oh, I guess he got set too early. Oh, bottom wrestler, I guess, came out of position when he was getting set. I think that should have been, been a caution, then. <laughs> Again, both of them. <laughs> They're just <laughs> pressing on the back. Six seconds left here. If he can get a ride out, sit with the leg. Here we go, overtime. You can let go now. <laughs> he made sure. <laughs> he was like, no, no, bro. <laughs> I'm not letting you go. You're not getting away. Cameron wasn't playing. Three to three in overtime. Sudden victory. First takedown wins. Let's see if uh, Bartuziak can keep the pressure going forward. Cameron's trying to keep the, his offense going. Another reshot. Here we go. There's Both another reshot. It. Could have a dump here if he wants. It got keep that elbow. Dump that arm. He let go of it and tried to go two on one on that leg. Thirty-seven seconds left. Three to three. Both guys looking to push the pace here. Got to snap. Got to open up the base. Break, break that stance. Good level changes. Oh, oh, that was beautiful. It was like a mini super duck. Yeah, it was like a mini duck. He's got to keep this and keep circling. That was good defense by Bartusiak. If he can hold on this elbow here, they may be going. <laughs> he did JoJo the duck on oh, that one. Nothing. It's nothing yet. Nothing yet. Keep the arm. Nothing. Still both up. What a good call. Great call. This is why you need wrestlers as referees. You can see him following that whole match the entire way, not just standing there. With disrespect, but if you haven't wrestled before, you may have called that a two. Yeah. It is a great job by our officials today. Right, They're getting better and better and better. I think it's because of all the crap they take from all the fans. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> They're just getting... Thicker and thicker their skin. Cameron, do it again. Pushing, he started like, dude, he like dug his uh, hit. Watch his hands when he covers. Dude, he literally shoves him into the yeah. small of the back. You <laughs> can't do that. You can't do that. Yeah, that's that's why Cameron came out of his base. <laughs> he pushed him out of it. He like almost tweaked his back. Twenty seconds left. That's one. We got that one with 13 seconds. Okay, now he's got 17 seconds left. He's got to play smart here. He even got a little hand smack in there. Bartusiak trying to push the pace here. If he gets two, won't need it. 
Oh, wow, good snap. Bartuziak's going to get his shot now on bottom. Wow. All right, let's see if we get a... He's leaning on that hip ever since he went down and got covered on. Yeah. Might have tweaked his hip a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> He's plopped on him. Cameron's got Cross a lift, lift here. Oh, no. He's still in control. He's still in control. Yep, he's still got a leg. Might get an escape here. Though. He's got to get his one. There's there it the is. one. Out of bounds, four to four with eight seconds left. Oh, man. Here's guy keep cha, his stance cha, here. Cha, cha. Both of them playing conservative with his eight, yeah. last eight seconds. Going into the final overtime. Rodriguez is going to go check to make sure that it's Munster's choice. Munster chooses the bottom. If your camera here, I may be looking double boots. Coach Triveline trying to make sure that Neo's motivated and ready to go. Ooh, caution. How many is that? Two. You can't do that again. Yeah. Let's see if we get another funky start here. There again. Got to return him. There's match. match. Good match for your third place match. You're going to get Joseph Bartusiak. It's going to win five to four in SV3. Ladies and gentlemen, let's meet our Podium action over here to the left. Handing out those ribbons. It's always a pain in the butt to get the ribbons. And your 138 pound champion from Kankakee Valley, Cole Solomon. All right, now we have a map two here. We have Adrian Pellot and Chase Kasperzak. Adrian, 152 sophomore, sectional champ 2022. Seventh place, freshman and sophomore state in 2022. Semi-state ticket rounder in 2022. He's a champ at the county last year, so he's the defending champ here. He's ranked number 14 in the state. Only losses were to Miller from Wawasee, Robert Bush from Bloomington South, and Reinhardt from CP. That's 22 and three, that's a good match. Good wrestling right there. Another three losses where those are just not really losses. Those aren't losses, they're learning experience, exactly. Again, yeah, hooking the foot right here. Chase had a great match today earlier. Um, he had another, uh, what was it? That was the overtime one, I think it was. Yep. Really good match, so I'm sure Adrian's happy that yeah, he had those that long day. Gooch, gooch ride. That's tough, looking for a bar here. Might have a left arm wing. He's got 50 seconds. Go half backside. Might be looking for a stack here. Gotta know where he's at. Yep. He's trying to go right arm stack. Casper Zach's getting like, no, no, no. I'm getting out of bounds, dude. We ain't gonna. Oh, you brought me back in. That's a good job right there. Adrian's smart right there. Job. He's keeping you in bounds, man. 
And this, this is good for a younger kid like this. If he goes on to wrestle at the next level, things like that are going to give you ride time. Yeah. You have to be smart in those next level. Oh, suck, oh back. suck back. That's two. Good job. Got two out of it right before the whistle. Again, he was looking for that last match, too. It was there. That was a very, very good job. Adrian's going to take bottom. He's up four to nothing right now. This is your 152 championship. That's your 2023 Lake County Championships. Expect heavy chop here from Chase. Let's see what the first move is. Heavy chop. More of an arm lever. Crotch lift. Can you take him to his to back? His back. It's my favorite. It's so like you don't ever see it coming. Let him go. Gonna get that one. Five nothing now, Pellet. Or Pilot. Oh, almost nice little ankle attempt. Good uh -oh. eye poke. Busted him in the face. Yeah, he got deep on that one. <laughs> The good thing is, is God gave you two eyes. Yeah. So if one of them gets broken, you're good. It's one of those breather moments right there. <laughs> yeah. Thank God he poked me in the eye. I was tired. <laughs> Trainers out there got him fixed up. I think he's ready to go, especially with a 5 nothing lead. You know it's good you know, when the trainer's laughing with you. Yeah. You're looking for another low Ooh, ankle here. Good level change. Yep. Both these wrestlers doing a good job snapping. They're both good to low ankle as there well. There it is, yep. Ooh. Nice re-attack. go behind. Good finish. There's two. I think he's going to. Minute left. He's going to cut him. Yep. Six to two now. Adrian with the lead. It's snap. Chase trying to play counter wrestling pretty well. He's doing good at it, but he's gonna have to pick up the pace here. He's down four, a couple takedowns. And one big move. Got almost on that reshot. Thirty-seven seconds. Six two. A lot of hand fighting. It's an evenly matched match here. Twenty one seconds. Another low single by Pilat. Nice. That was beautiful. Great job, Adrian. That low single he's got in the sweep low. Those are really slick. If he keeps working at those, those are going to be nasty to stop. Add a couple setups to him. Chase is having his uh, his work cut out for him today. He's down eight two now, yeah. but he's going against the defending champ. That ain't easy going against the defending champ. Adrian ain't playing today. Yeah, he's gonna have to stay in his stance here. He can't keep backing out and standing up. Playing inside tie. He's looking for that low single again. Look at him. Yep. You see him starting to crouch that left. back. Yep. Yep. He's going post left. Yep. That left hand keeps posting. Oh, good club. Go into a shot after that or a throw by. Good an ankle pick there. He's leaning. Minute 15. Low single. He's going right side this time. Chase's left foot. He keeps getting heavy on that, and Adrian keeps leaning towards it. Chase got to start you see him poking distance. at it? Yeah. There it is. Yep. I told you he was going for that. He kept leaning towards it. Good reshot by Chase. Good oh, reshot wow. by Adrian. Knee picked him. That was, was beautiful. 
He's got a major now, and this is huge for the team scores. This is, keeps ex extending the lead that they already have. They're up by 39 points, and they're going to need this, but they're up by 39 points on Lake Central. There's a lot of wrestlers left. Ten to two. Trying to work out the lock. Could have had a T-ride there. I think he's working for that T-ride again. I think he's looking just to ride on 12 seconds. Tough. Being smart, yeah. He's clock watching now. He knows he has it. Don't want right. to mess up and give up that major, though. So your back-to-back -back champ at Lake County is Adrian Palat of Merrillville. He's going to extend his record now to 22 or 23 and three. Pretty impressive, kiddo. Next one's going to be a fun one in the middle. We're going to have Kenny Bisping. And you're also gonna have Cameron Crisp, another, another Maryville wrestler, who knew? Maryville's really doing well today. Cameron Crisp, sectional champ at 2022, okay? Fifth place at freshman sophomore state in 2022 as well. His losses are to Manolo Hood, the number 20 in the state, Portage. You got Perez from Harrison, He's lost to Aiden Costello from Hobart, and Sam Gowen from Crown Point. Wagner from Zionsville. So again, doesn't have a loss, has five lessons. Cameron Crisp looking to come in here and try to dethrone Kenny Bisping here. Kenny Bisping, young talent. Yeah, I think you're going to see two different styles right here. I think Kenny's going to try to stay close to the ground. Kenny's a muscler, and this is a hard guy to muscle. And there's Russian. Kenny, I think, is a sophomore this year. Yep. And Crisp is a junior. He can step inside. Crisp has got the, the floating like a butterfly sting like a bee. Got that dancing going on out there. You can go dump here. Good hand fighting. Yep, there's that drag by again. Russian. Ooh. Oh. Can nice. you dump? This is good wrestling here. These boys are moving. Countering on everything they can. Inside ties, working it inside. Kenny's working the inside well. Crisp is working more wrist and level change, trying to make him come out of his stance. This being with a tough tie. He's breaking Cameron's stance the whole time. 23 seconds left. This is your 160 championship. Oh, in on a single. Crisp with a beautiful single switch to double. He's looking at almost at a half there on the edge of the mat. Short time, 10 seconds left. Okay, get the, know where you're at. Good transition. Crisp with a 2-0 lead going into the second period. Crisp is going to take bottom. Let's see what the first move is. First move, right hand back, flatten out. Got to clear your arm. Got to clear that. Not a lot of clearing arms today. A lot of, a lot of that problem. Going right tough, trying to look for this tilt. Bisping looking to work on her. Crisp not coming up. Not doing much on the bottom there. Trying it's kind of waiting. Trying to throw a boot in on that right side. 
Clear side. Ooh, Oki to a cradle there. Couldn't get it. And this is where he's tough, man. It's so when he stands up, it's hard to get him back down. Yeah. Right there, he just out muscle him. Three nothing now, Crisp. Again, looking for the underhook. Oh, good reshot. Oh. Wow. Again, I'll watch throw by. There it is. Oh, good. Bang those hinges on that shot, boy. Snake them legs. Doing a good job now. I'm controlling the center of the mat. Bisping's starting to pick up the pace oh. a little bit. Pick right side. If he can hook his left foot right here. If he can hook his left foot, that could be working for two. Got to hook his left foot. That should be two. Nope. Staying in the scramble. Crisp gets the two. Man. Man, oh, man. Got to hook that left foot. Yeah, screen. Maldonado, Coach Maldonado down there making sure everybody's staying focused on his team. He's got a 5-0 lead right now, 5-1 lead now. 20 really seconds left in the second speed. period. Can't all go with the underhook. This being with a loose shot, he's got dumped. He wants it. I'm trying for it's the like Russian, by. yeah. Really good opportunity for a dunk. In this second period, we're going to the third period. Now, choice is Lowell. Bisping's going to choose both up. Man, I'm surprised. Not a lot of guys today have done optional. They mm. look for a cradle or some sort of roll. And oh, there's another dump opportunity coming up from that three shot. The dump is there all day. This is where Bisping doesn't want to be at. A, that's a good job defending that double under. Yeah. Good knee pick. He tried to pry that. Again, good defense by Chris. Get those thigh prize. Because uh, Chris puts that right leg out there a lot. He went left side this time. Got to pull him back in, sit him to his Chris butt. Got a, there you go. This means going to bring him back up. Chris got to watch out now for stalling. He hasn't taken a shot here in about, about 40 seconds. 6 3 now, Chris. Third period. This is 120 left. Again, here comes underhooks. This thing's got to clear this tie. There he goes. Yep. That's Throw it. that. Oh, there it is. Drop. Met him. That's a five-point maneuver right there, folks. And this is where Chris could be so tough. Look and at get that. get the reversal. So now we should be tied. 8-8. Eight, eight. Now it's 9-8. Now it's nine, eight. This Bisping with the one point lead now Look when he was down by six. Bisping looking to control the center of this mat. 33 seconds. Crisp is going to have to go. Bisping with a nice comeback. With no stall calls. 20 seconds left. He's got to stay active here, and that's it. Crisp looking for a double on throw. Out of bounds, hit nice. him with a stall. 13.2 seconds. I felt like that one right there. Could have went both ways on that. Yeah. And on a high crotch. <gasps> got to stay. No, no. He doesn't have it yet. He's got the leg. He still don't have it. He's got the leg. Oh, he gave it to him after the two seconds. After the time. Time was up. Yeah, that... This was very close. This is gonna have to come to the table because I, I he gave him the two after the after the thing had blown, but it doesn't mean that he didn't think in his head before the whistle blew that it was it. Because just because my hand came up a second after doesn't mean I wasn't thinking it before that. I would like to see overtime. Yeah, I think we should just make it even at overtime. Time. That's what I'm. No, no it's, it's not. not. Crisp yeah. got It'll it. Win. Hey, good match. I like to see those like that. You're going to get Cameron Crisp as your 2023 160. 
Lake County champion. We're gonna move over to Matt One, where we have um, Josh or Daniel Carrillo and Alex Jovanovski. <laughs> Maryville gets to take a break from having a guy in the center mat for the next couple. Yeah. Here we go, I think. Back to I think the they're letting him go. Well, we'll go back to the middle one, because this is going to be a championship once this match over here on the left is over. They're going to let this 160 match finish before they go on. Hey, I think they started the 170 match on the right side. They sure did. Yeah, that match is over. <laughs> Sal Montez loses to Tavion Gray from Maryville. Montez will play six. Gray will get fifth. Over on mat one, we still have a stoppage. up now 4-4 four, four with Alex Jovanovski. Four to four. We are in overtime number one. 37 seconds left. So Jovanovski's going to win that one in overtime. Up next we have coming for our 170 championship. We have Alexander Borrello. Match is starting here now. Barrero and Toronto. Another one of those fun ones you want to see. Yes. And again, another Munster Lake Central match. Nice high crotch attempt. These guys are flying all over the place. The Munster kid reminds me of Turich from Hobart. Yeah. Same style. Turch would have probably shot low single right off the bat, though. Yeah, straight ankle pick right <laughs> off the whistle. Just I love that kid. To it. Zero zero right now. In on a nice single. Barrera trying to take it. He's got a chance for a cradle if he wanted there. Right up to a pudge of a Toronto good gives finish. up the shoe. Good ride on the left side. You know, I, I got to see a lot of arm level, uh, arm levers here. It was awesome. Got two to nothing. Toronto's back on bottom. Got 53.4 seconds left here in this first period. This is the 170 championship match. Oh, looking for a tilt. Almost a two count. You're watching high school wrestling on the Region Sports Network. 
where the region comes to wrestle. Doing a good job on top, just trying to work this right arm out. Looking for a left wing. Searching and running. There, it could have this here. Got 20 seconds to do it. Kind of got a little wonky on it. Yeah, rushed went back it a little around, bit. Went back to the hip and he's comfortable there. Balling up right now, a minute left, or a second left. Good job finishing off the period. Second period choice is gonna be for Barrero. He's got a 2-0 lead. He's gonna try to extend it by taking bottom. <laughs> Covering on the left here. Barrera looking to get a reverse lot. That's just going to be happy enough with the escape. Barrero is up 3-0 now. Toronto, sophomore from Lake Central, is going to have to get his work into gear here. Went for a high crotch here. Yep. There it is. Sit him to his butt. Right to the back. Barrero is taking control with these shots. He's done it all day, pretty much. Yeah, same style, just get that underhook. Toronto's got to get that head off the mat, too. I know it was a long day. There you go, he's looking left half here. Oh, good switch. Good switch. Just kept circling. Hit it and get it, baby. Got to return, got to return. Oh, and nice do another switch. standing switch. Great job by Barrero. Alex takes a 7-2 lead now. There you go, looking for a cross face. He's going to lift that near side leg up and possibly send him over. Now he's looking for a cross face cradle ride. He might go cradle. Near side, near side, Turk style. 23 seconds left. Bundle, 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 maybe? No, no. Yep. Barbed wire action. Nine seconds to do it. Smart, move. smart. Safer to go there. Okay, third period now. It's weird watching these 170s and 160s and 182s and not seeing Jake Simpson out there, huh? Weird. Yeah, yeah no, very different. It, it's nice to be able to eat and watch wrestling and then have the axe sweat your butt off, right? Oh, no, it's fantastic. <laughs> oh, nice That's going to be double. a 9 to 2 lead now for Barrero. Oh, yeah. Nasty Brian cross face. it back. Face pool, Coach Cook style. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Toronto's having a hard time down there. Keeping that head down, he's going to put himself in a position to get turned. I think Barrero is looking for bonus points here. Toronto yeah, said, no hips. bonus for you. Nine to three now. Toronto's still shooting, which is what I like to see. Watch Cradle. Boy, that was nice, that re-attack there by Barrero. Alex has had a good showing today. So did Toronto. Again, here comes that high crotch again. That Ooh. underhook on the left is a setup for it. Yep. 45 seconds left. Nice oh, low nice single. Dunk. It was like a duck single. Yeah. That plant right foot sweep single left. That was beautiful. 
but he's down by four. Gotta look for something big here. Now down by five. He needs to beat the back. Oh, right there, throw it. Oh, there's Fall right, backwards with it. Oh. Twelve seconds left. Toronto needs something big. Barrero is just going to be smart here. Circle, down block, and win it. That's a good match. Barrero is going to be your 2023 170 champion. We'll move over. I think Matt One has done as well. We'll stay here in the center. Ladies We're going to go on to the next one. Connor Cervantes and Josh Hubbard for your 182 Wheeler, Lake County Championship. And you're watching the 2023 Lake County Ergo, Wrestling Tournament from Hanover Hernandez. Central High School on the Region Sports Second Network presented by Colonel Ivy Boyce, Tech Community College. Yomanowski, fifth place, Highlands, Daniel Carrillo. Fourth place, Morton's Jacob Stephen. Third place, Lake Central's Adam Glass. The runner-up from Lowell, Kenny Bisbane. And your 160-pound champion from Maryville, Cameron Crisp. Yeah. Got his plaque, got his shirt, and his medal. Connor Cervantes and Josh Hubbard, they have wrestled probably around 20, 30 times. Not sure what the alley is, but I think Connor got the last one. It's gotta be up there. They've been going at it. Cervantes with a hard, heavy tie right off the bat. Hubbard into the backup. Cervantes Falling after his brother. Got to keep him in here. Ooh. Almost hey, body good call by the ref, making sure everybody's safe. You don't want Coach Soika to get crushed over there. He's not a very big guy. Snap into a shot. Hubbard's compact, man. It's like shooting on a fire hydrant. Yeah, he's looking to go front headlock here. If he can get him to the mat. Snap. That's where you equalize it with height. There it is. If he can now circle, we're go behind. Size. Almost a cradle. It's a good finals here. Hubbard trying to keep away, keep his distance because he knows that. Ooh. Uh-oh. It may have popped He may out. have just broke his, or popped his elbow out of socket with yeah. that. Yeah. That whizzer. Yeah. That's not good. Oh, those stink. He does seem to be moving. It's just been a tweak. You know how it is in wrestling. You got that adrenaline going, and you really, really can't feel it at first because you're like, no, I'm going to go back out there. And then you start to walk out there, and you're like, ooh, okay, hold on. Hold on. Something's wrong. Yeah, he's moving it around. Uh. That elbow looked like it got torqued a little bit. Yeah, it was definitely like a little stinger moment. He's ready to go. You know, it's perfect. He's a right foot lead, so he's got to really use that right arm yeah. when he That left hand that's hurting him. He's staying out of that left tie hand. Yeah. Now you're wrestling with one hand. It's a little bit different. Dead double. Flash double. Whoa. Out oh. of bounds. He did have his right foot out of bounds. Good call. Good call. Hubbard like now looking to push the pace. Ref done great job today. Very good job. Again, that's one of those, like, if you haven't probably done wrestling, you might have called too. That's right. Watch throw by by Hubbard here. 
That was left hand deep. He was hanging. I thought he was going to see that elbow pop. Another blast elbow attempt. Oh. Oh. Those are double unders. Okay, so Cervantes defending shots well. This could be, well, he's going to get two out of this. Almost got the reversal. He's going to get the escape. Into the first period. Close match. Hubbard choosing bottom here. Good choice, good choice. Again, one of those top three covers. Cover left, chop right. Hubbard would have come around. Oh, almost ladded him. Connor's still there. Hubbard waiting for that explosion to come back up again. That arm lever working out on the right side. Cole trying to flatten him back out to his stomach. It ain't easy to keep Hubbard on his stomach. Yeah, Hubbard looking to the east side here. Oh, maybe switch opportunity. That's a good arm lever. Scarf it now if you get him flat. There it is. He tried. He tried. He can keep a wing here. No. There's the half. Now run. Good job. Sink. That's tight. That's hot, T. That's tight. Cervantes is going to take this one into battle. He's going to be your 182 2023 Lake County champion. We'll move over to Matt One right now, where we have Trevor Cross from Lowell and Josiah Edmonds from Maryville. Cross is winning this one, eight to three right now. It's the third period. This is your 195 coming up after this. We're still finishing off our 82s. Edmonds is going to give Cross a point here. Try to keep it going. Minute and 40 left. Got a dump here. I was going to pull him back. Cross is going to get backs out of this. Yeah, it's looking like. There's a three count. That's going to make it a 12 to 5. Minute and 17, this is a long fight. We can try to kind of push his knee out from here, trying to just get to his right hip. Keep your left hand on the mat, elbow on his chest, and your shoulder on the mat. Looking to go grapevine. If he drops his shoulder to the mat right here, it's pinned. Oh, now he's on top, Saturday Night Ride. There it is. Those are rough. Ladies and gentlemen, let's meet our 170 pound place winners. In eighth place from Crown Point, Matt Nick Ruto. Should be a good one next. Yeah. Trent Kersey Seven and place, James Beal. Anthony Gutkunst. Another one of these bouts where you can see these guys going to want to lock up with each other. Israel Sinat. Fifth place, Gary Westside. Kersey, I think he's only a sophomore this year. Fourth place, it's a River big sophomore. Forest, Saul Montez. Third place, Maribel's Tavion Gray. The runner-up from Lake Central, Emilio Torado. And your champion at 170 pounds from Munster, Alexander Barrero. The Barrero. He won it. He did a great job. Now you get Trent Kersey. And James Veal, okay, James Veal is the sixth place placer at the Al Smith this year. Started wrestling last year. Let that sink in. Wow. Sixth place at Al Smith, started wrestling last year, okay? And he's also ranked 18th in the state. 
this is why you go to a room like David Maldonado's room. Because you could be a second year wrestler and place at Al Smith. There's people that have placed at State that haven't placed at Al Smith. Let that sink in. His losses were to McClellan from Portage, McConnell from Center Grove. He lost to Kersey before. So this is his rematch. And he also lost to number nine, White, from Crown Point. So again, he's got a lot of lessons, not very many losses. Especially for a second year wrestler. Second year wrestling. Great job by the Maldonado staff and Maryville crew there. Coaching these boys up quick. Well, he's doing a good job controlling the edge of the mat here. You he know, second year wrestler, he's got a good awareness. Yeah, no. I, I didn't know he was a second year wrestler until today. You couldn't tell when he was wrestling at Crown Point. Yeah, no, he, he had a tough match. He wrestled very tough, too. Both guys looking kind of for an outside single here from what it looked like. Try again. I can't remember how Kersey wrestles. I know you wrestled him once last year, but it, it, I don't know if it was very, it wasn't very long. I think we got lucky with a, a quick cradle on him. But he's looking, he's gained a little bit of weight and gotten stronger. Shot a little bit Good too snap. far away there. This is where that strong veal comes in. Second year, he fights off collars well, works wrist control well. Stance comes out a little bit, but not much. I, I'm, I'm excited to see what this kid can do. Still got another year left after this, yeah. too. Choice green. Maribel's is going to defer. Kersey's going to take bottom first. He wants to score first. Second period in your 195 championship match here at the Lake County Championships. You're watching the 2023 Lake County Wrestling Tournament from Hanover Central High School on the Region Sports Network, presented by Ivy Tech Community College. Looking for a bar. Hammerlock series. Hammerlock claw. Yeah. It seems to be the bread and butter here at Maryville. Yeah, and you know what? They're all on the center mat, too. Exactly. So <laughs> the technique is technique, technique, baby. Again, doing a good job. Keeping him flat here on the mat. Taking an L to Kersey last time. He looks like he's ready for this one. Minute 18 left here in the second. Covering from the right. Good shift. Yeah. Kersey gets up quick. Great job keeping his hips low to the mat. So we got a one nothing lead now for Kersey. Minute left. Quick feet. Yeah, look at the. Don't stand like a boxer out there. Trying to chop down. He's got to shoot when he does that. Got some blood. Poked him in the eye, I think, with those uh, snap downs. Gotta love it. Again, back in the tie here. Force and forward snaps will be nice right here. He's trying to stay out of the tie. You can't do that too much. Oh, nice double. Can he bring this up to his feet? Elevator. Bounds. Not the nice elevator. Good call, Coach Jaw. Good job by Kersey staying patient there on the edge. Yep. A little elevator to make sure he got out of bounds. Inside tie for Kersey. Now he's trying to work that underhook on the left. Collar tie on the right. Veal's been trying to set up that double. He doesn't like working with the tie. No. 
Here we go. Oh, man. Got to be careful. Almost they're getting a star right there at the end. End of the second period. You're going to have Maryville Choice. Maryville Choice. Neutral. Neutral. All right. Okay. Down one to nothing. They choose neutral. David Maldonado's got some faith in his boy. Got a circle. Creating those angles. Kersey and Veal are a good matchup here. Here we go. We They're might really see a even. throw by. If he can lock, stay the leg. Hook the leg and hook the head. Yeah, stay leg here. Lift. He'll have Kersey if he does. Oh, wow. Back to got that his left foot hand. in the ground. Yep. Good job by Kersey. Again, that's the second time here now staying patient, not being worried about getting kind of picked up in the air. Oh. Shot through his arm to take that leg. One minute left. Kersey's got to sit him to his butt with his head. Veal doesn't have it. Wow. Almost a laptop. That is so strong. Almost a laptop. Kersey with watch throw. Veal pushing back. Kersey keeps hooking that over tie over that left underhook. Good shot. Kersey's got his headgear over his eyes and everything. 25 Veal's, seconds left. Veal's trying to fight it off. Got to know where you're at here. Take two out of this. Don't give it up, Veal. You're going to. Look at this match. They're out of bounds. Good call, Coach Joe. 11 seconds left in the match. Down one. One to nothing. Kersey with the lead. You got to shoot. Eight seconds. After two years, he will be a different wrestler. Another matchup we're going to see next year, too, probably. Yeah, that was... These guys are going to be here. He's going to be here again. He's going to make sure he makes a different impact. But congratulations to Trent Kersey. 195 champion here for 2023 Lake County Wrestling Tournament. Sixth place, Maryville's Josiah Edmonds. Fifth place, Wolves, Trevor Cross. Fourth place... Hanover Central's Angela Ramirez. Third place, Lake Central's Stefan Jokic. The runner-up from Highland, Joshua Hubbard. And the champion at 182 pounds from Griffith, Connor Cervantes. All right, now here at your 220 pound finals match here, you've got Bartusiak, Hanover Central. And you got Bartosik and Caleb Abad. Whoa. Caleb's 20 and 5, and Bartosik is 29 and 3. Jaden Bartosik is a sophomore too, so there's gonna be a, a lot more of him coming in the future. Caleb Abad, I'm not sure exactly what grade he's in, but I think he's also either a sophomore or junior. We're gonna go double unders here. Jacking him up. Collar tie, collar tie. Switch, reset. Collar tie, collar tie, switch, reset. Got to get more moves in there than that, boys. Good there snap. we go. That lean is what he was looking for. 
Artojic with the first score of the match. Beautiful snap down. Trying to work some pressure here on that right side. Heavy on the right, too. Right and pinch on the right, looking cradle on the left. Oh, man. Those are risky rolls right there. You can't let those scaps go flat. Taking bottom, Bartosik. Bartosik has got a two to nothing lead right now. All right. Miss Mary return. Getting back to Into the claw. A claw. Double boots here at 220. I love seeing the boots at 220. Powering it. Opening up this power half right here. He's a little high. He's got to sink his hips, but. You can't get your legs out when you got that heavy gun on your legs once you get the boots in. Right yeah. now is where you stay power half. He's, Keep his head in the mat. He's throwing some heavy blows on this power half right here. Backpack. He's gonna backpack them shoulders forward. Gotta arch his left foot here. Yeah, you better slide that boot in. There's flat. Now you work. Legs are in the air. Now you work. Watch him hit him with a stalemate. I, I might be looking honestly solid bottom. His legs aren't doing anything. <laughs> Being overpowered in a certain sense. <laughs> you see his Now leg. there <laughs> it is. <laughs> Trust me, you, we had a bad angle. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, okay, my legs won't move. Yeah, I think he heard me and was like, watch this. <laughs> Look, dude, I'm trying. Jaden Bartosik with the lead right now. Still two to nothing. Legs in again. Well, high here. Could come out the back door here. Boots out on the right. Got him flat. Oh, wow. Power that. You got the arm up. <laughs> He's keeping that head stuffed. Jaden's got his work cut out for him right now. Oh, fraud. Up to his feet. Back down. Looking for double boots again. Third period, you're going to have Lowell Choice. No, they're going down. Abad's going to take bottom. He needs it. He's down 2 nothing. Jaden to cover. Covers left. First move. Little inside stand. He can push back into that knee. There we go. And fighting, got to return him. Wizard. There's his escape. Two to one. There he's going. He's going and snapping. Looking for underhook here. Double unders again. A lot of hand fighting here. Just pushing back and forth. It's been a long day. These poor kids are pretty tired after their fourth and fifth matches.
Oh, right there on them. The shot is there when either one of them want it. They both kind of turn into each other like that. Yep, tree trunk in their legs into the mat. Got a minute left here in the third. Two to one right now. Bartosik with the lead over Abad. Still working those underhooks and overhooks and double unders. Here, here we go, he might lock some up lock here. here. He's gotta jack it up. Stalling green. If he backs up, he's gonna get another one. Bartosik with the two, wow. getting backs out of it. And the, the ball. ball! What a match! Out of nowhere, Jaden Bartosik goes blast double, feet to back, and says, hello, championship. Good evening, Kyle Abad. Ladies and gentlemen, let's meet our 195-pound place winners. In eighth place, from Highland, Adrian Mendoza. Seventh place, Hammond Morton, Sergio Ramirez. In sixth place, Munsters, DJ Eskadam. Fifth place, Calumet, Wrighton, Reeder. Fourth place, Lake Central's, Matthew DeGrego. Third place, Hanover Central's, Sam Chambers. The runner-up from Maryville, James Veal. And the champion at 195 pounds, from Wool, Trent Kersey. Congratulations, we're on our last one now with Aramis McNutt and Nathan Paisley, and you're watching the 2023 Lake County Wrestling Tournament from Hanover Central High School on the Region Sports Network, presented by Ivy Tech Community College. Ivy Tech Community College, with classes in your community, serving all Lake County with locations in Crown Point, East Chicago, and Gary. Visit ivytech.edu to find out more. And if you're ready to move ahead, Ivy Tech is ready to help. Check out ivytech.edu for more information. McNutt and Paisley, I think they faced off at the last tournament they were at, too. Yeah, I think McNutt that had Lake a pin. Central. Yeah, McNutt got a pin out of it. Both are ranked in the state. Paisley ranked number 18 in the state. McNutt ranked number 11 in the state. Paisley tried for that recounter. Here, both these guys looking for the toss. These are two strong kids. I think McNutt's got, got him in the legs, though. Nice club. Look for Paisley again here to get into his left arm or left hand underhook. Man, seeing some good fakes right now from the heavyweights. Yeah, there's a couple quick ones. Collar ties, a lot of leaning. Paisley wants, he could snap McNutt to his face on those. He's got a good two foot lean. Yeah, I'm looking for the underhook. Yeah, good chip it, chip it, chip it. See if one of them's got what it takes to go up underneath them. I'm looking for one of these shots here. Short time, Both 10 seconds. looking for kind of like a drag by. <laughs> <laughs> Both reaching for it, dude. They're scrapping. Yeah, these two have seen each other a lot. They're nice sick of each club. Other. Going down. Coach Keith trying to give him some inspiration there. McNutt's going to choose bottom. Start off the second. Pacey's gonna cover left. High waist ankle High action. High waist yeah. ankle. McNutt up to his feet, tripod. On a single. single. Can mm -hmm. he circle this back to his circle right? to his butt. He's gonna go double with it. Couldn't do it. Got his He's one. gonna get his one though. Really quick up to his feet right there. Yeah, that re-attack was really nice too. When you get up to your feet, they're never expecting it or usually not expecting it. Again, Pacey looking to set up that underhook right here again. 
I don't see Paisley shooting. I haven't saw, I don't remember him shooting. I know he's got good fakes to the shot, but I know he likes to work from the tie. Yeah, he's looking to go right arm under right now. McNutt steps in, he might go front. Yep, yep, looking for a front headlock here. Yeah, Paisley's going for that front headlock. I think he's looking to throw. McNutt using those shoulder posts to keep him from moving forward and planting that foot. Oh, man. Yeah. Getting chippy. One minute left, second period. One to nothing, McNutt. This is your 285 championship match. Paisley, oh, Paisley with a half shot. shot. Nothing. Good hips by McNutt. Paisley with a half shot. Pulls it off. Doesn't get the points for it. 45 seconds left. Oh, again, another McNutt one. Blast! What a blast. He's going to get two out of it. Hey, let's see. Goes for another tilt, maybe. Oh, yeah. You always got to make the guy chew a little bit of the mat. That dolomer doesn't taste very good, so you try to make sure they taste as much as possible with that forearm in the back of the neck. Yeah, these, these two are doing a little bit of talking. It's getting, it's getting pretty fun. Yeah, it's, sec it's second period. This third period could be crazy, especially if one of them chooses neutral. Yeah. Caution green. Not even on the elbow. <laughs> big guys have a big elbow. It, yeah. <laughs> it shouldn't count that way. <laughs> hey, he was probably like, man, I was already on the elbow. <laughs> I thought that was his elbow. Oh, wait, is he looking? He's throwing boots in. Boots in heavyweight. You don't want to do that on Paisley. Paisley will turn your butt over. Yep, you can see that here. <laughs> oh, McNutt! Oh. Gonna get a fall out of this if he can keep in bounds. Out of bounds. Wow. Two point backs. He should have got the takedown too, correct? Were we, where was he at? Was he on top? on top? Yeah. yeah, he was already on top, okay. Again, though, got a little high, and Pacey was looking for that throw. Yeah. Seven seconds left. I think Pacey's going to sit this one out until third. I think Pacey has choice in the third now. Oh! Uh, you gotta <laughs> going tilt again. Wow. Big guys throwing legs, running tilts. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Again, Recover. Pacey chose bottom. There's a oh, tilt. Wow. He can get his knee if he right can keep that arm, he got himself in a couple situations there. Yeah. Going back to double bump. Here it goes again. Stack. If he can get his knee in here. Push that knee in. He is tilting him. Two. McNutt, the heavyweight tilt master. Oh, that was not. I can't. I got to take that back. That was, that was sloppy. So that I, was a sloppy. <laughs> I'll take that back. Seven to one, though. McNutt's got to put himself in good position. Here. Russian oh, arm snap. sweep. Dude. Oh, McNutt, you're my big. I'm your biggest fan now. I've been begging to see one of those for a while, and you did it at a heavyweight level. Atta boy. They probably went about six, seven feet across the mat on that. <laughs> that run. was awesome. Russian arm sweep, little arm snap. McNutt with Looking a major right now. Whoa, double stall. Double stall. All right. I don't know why, but I liked it. I wouldn't be surprised if we see another tilt right here. Top left side. Pace gonna have Good to cover. Double bumps. 45 seconds left. McNutt using, trying to get a cradle. Pace, he's got to move now. A little sense of urgency. Oh, yeah, he's going to get tilted tilt. again. McNutt with another tilt. You better start getting back to your stomach, Paisley. Oh, no. You're getting tilted. McNutt's Almost doing great. Oh. He's trying to take this over for the fall. 
Boy, I'll tell you what, I hope to see him downstate. He's made so many improvements. Here he goes Ooh, again. I think had a half on the opposite side, didn't see it. Yeah. Leg lift, nah. let him go. Nah. 11 to two, go it's behind. Oh! The jump behind! Oh! Gotta love the athleticism by the heavyweight. Way to end the match. What a job. I'm gonna give outstanding wrestler to my boy McNutt, I'm telling you. Way too athletic to be 280. Well, we had a good tournament here, Simpson. What did you think about this? Lake good. County, there's a couple pretty good ones there. Yeah, a lot of good matches today. Uh, a few of them, we even, come, people just came out of nowhere today. Throwing yeah, it. definitely throwing some good ones. Big guy tilts and everything. Well, we have executive producer Chris Ramirez. Special thanks to him. Coordinating producer Nathan Laird, another great guy to have on the team. We got our producer Claude Martinez. Our video is Justin Cole. Broadcast crew is myself and Jake Simpson. Special thanks to Ivy Tech Community College. And for all of our viewers, you can catch this on Facebook.com slash Regent Sports, YouTube.com slash Regent Sports, or just RegentSports.com. Again, we will see you on the next one. Thank you for joining us, and we are Regent Sports.